Now, I don't know where I got this exact fact, fact from, um, but I remember being told that when I was training for a teacher, that in A-level biology, you learn more new words than you do if you were doing A-level French or Spanish or anything like that. Because we do throw a whole load of really, really technical words at you, and we expect you to be able to use them fluently. So yes, they are in English, but it is like a whole complete foreign language. And if you can't speak this new foreign language, then you're not going to do very well in your exams. So I wasn't hugely sure about this fact, so I asked social media, as you do, and everyone agrees with me, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on Instagram, or whether it's on Twitter, there are more new words in A-level biology than there are in A-level French as the example that I've used. And some of them are really, really similarly spelt, but do different things, like lysosome and lysosome, one letter difference. You know, at GCSE, we just had to cope with mitosis and meiosis, you know. They're kind of like linked, but spelt differently, and if you get them wrong, then you don't get the marks in the exam. Now I do have a whole different video coming for you about writing in exams, because that's important. But this video is just about the massive amounts of new words you need to learn and how to learn them. Um, because if you don't use the, the keywords, the terminology properly in the exams, the examiner's gonna think that you don't know what you're talking about. Or if you do miss up your endopeptidases or exopeptidases, again, one letter difference in the spelling, the examiner's gonna think that you don't know what you're talking about. So it is really, really important that you know all your keywords, you can spell, I'm really sorry, all of your keywords, and you can write perfect definitions for these. Now, to help you with this, I've written the glossary. Here it is in my folder. This is the, uh, this is the AQA version. Look at it, it's ridiculous. This is, how many pages? Like 300 odd pages, oops, wibble. It's like 300 odd pages long, and it is of key words for your A-level biology. Now the definitions that I've written in the book for you are basically perfect exam answers. So if like an osmosis is a really nice one that we're all familiar with from GCSE. If your question says, what is osmosis or describe osmosis, define osmosis, we all know exactly what to write. It's exactly the same at A-level. If your question asks like, um, describe the action of exopeptidase, then basically you write the definition that I've written in the book. Um, it is giving you loads and loads and loads of basically exam perfect definitions so you just need to remember and then get onto the exam paper. Now obviously there are more complicated questions like for AQA you've got the essay questions, there's going to be long answer questions and there's going to be like massive questions so this isn't going to do everything for you. I am working quickly as I can on doing everything for you, but I haven't quite got there yet. But it is great revision for you. So what I strongly suggest that you do is you get the glossary book. Yeah, I know, that's the obvious bit. And you do not have to print it out because even though I have a copy printed out, it is absolutely massive. You can see I've divided all the different sections here. And then what I want you to do is to take the keyword and the definition and make yourself a set of flashcards. This is a great way to learn things. I divided these into units so you don't have to do the whole thing at once. You know, maybe you're on unit one at the moment and you just want to do that for your vision, but maybe over Christmas you want to get ahead the unit two so you can make the unit two flashcards over Christmas. And then to help you remember all of these, to help you revise, I've made loads of crosswords. This is a great way to work out whether you actually understand what the words mean so that when the exam or your test or whatever it is comes around, then you can have them ready. Now these flashcards that you're making, you can just keep these in your bag for use whenever you want to, or you can make little videos um, and put them up. I would ask that you don't put my work on Quizlet because you, you know, if you steal my work and put it on Quizlet or whatever um, your online flashcard thing you want to, then I won't be able to make videos anymore and I'm nearly finished 
nearly finished with the whole of AS A Level Bar J. So just please let me finish my work, okay? Then at the back, what I've got, all the answers, obviously, but like divided up by paper. So AS paper one, there's five crosswords, AS paper two, A level paper one, A level paper two, so that you can actually sit down and say, right, I've got AS paper one at revision today. Um, I need to do this set of crosswords. So you don't have to go back and do the same crosswords over and over again. You can sit down and do the ones just for the paper. And then obviously buying the, the PDF version of it means you can print out the word set, the crosswords, not word searches, we are growing ups, crosswords as many times as you want to. So you can do module one, crossword one in revision for your module one test in year 12 and then do it again in April of year 13 as revision for your actual a level because i'm like 99.9 .9 sure that a levels are happening in 2023 and i'm like 95 percent sure they're happening in 2022 that's where we are at the moment so guys um i've been working incredibly hard on this aqa ocra ocrb and excel is ready and up all of the other exam boards are coming because this is an incredibly complicated project because I've got to remake all the crosswords to every single different unit. It's not just like moving stuff around. This is basically starting from scratch for every single different unit. And I know I'm just grumping about my own life problems now. There were like 10 different exam boards, maybe even more, for A level biology. It's a little bit doing my head in. Um, anyway, guys, that is what I've got to help you learn the massive amount of new words for A level biology. A very, very long glossary booklet, which I suggest that you don't print out, that I suggest that you make flashcards from and then keep them on your desk, but do print out the pages to fill in the um, crosswords and then to keep the rest of it on the screen so that you don't have massive chunks of paper. Of course, if you do want massive chunks of paper i've also got printed copies on my website there so you don't have to print out all of that all by yourself um yep yeah. good luck guys uh, good luck with the new language available biology ouch what's happening what's happening what's happening this is why in some videos i've explained scratches <laughs>